And you see, I've never understood national pride. I've never understood ethnic pride because uh, I'm Irish and I'm all four of my grandparents were born in Ireland, so I'm fully Irish. And when I was a kid, I would go to the St. Patrick's Day Parade and I noticed that they sold a button that said proud to be Irish. And I could never understand that because I knew that on Columbus Day, they sold a different button that said proud to be Italian. Then came black pride and Puerto Rican pride. And I could never understand ethnic or national pride because to me, pride should be reserved for something you achieve or attain on your own, not something that happens by accident of birth. Being Irish... <laughs> Being Irish isn't a skill. It's a fucking genetic accident. You wouldn't say I'm proud to be 5'11". I'm proud to have a predisposition for colon cancer. So why the fuck would you be proud to be Irish or proud to be Italian or American or anything? If, hey, if you're happy with it, that's fine. Do that. Put that on your car. Happy to be an American. Be happy. Don't be proud. Too much pride as it is. Pride goeth before a fall. Never forget Proverbs, okay? Now, here's another slogan. Here's another slogan you run into all the time. God bless America. Once again, respectfully, I say to myself, what the fuck does that mean? God bless America? Is that a request? Is that a demand? Is that a suggestion? Politicians say it at the end of every speech, as if it were some sort of verbal tick that they can't get rid of. <laughs> God bless you and God bless America. God bless you and God bless America. I guess they figure if they leave it out, someone's gonna think they're bad Americans. Let me tell you a little secret about God, folks. God does not give a flying fuck about America, okay? He doesn't care. <laughs> He never cared about this country. He, he never has, he never will. He doesn't care about this country any more than he cares about Mongolia, Transylvania, Pittsburgh, the Suez Canal, or the North Pole. He simply doesn't care, okay? He doesn't care. Listen, hey, there are 200 countries in the world now. Do these people honestly think that God is sitting around picking out his favorites? Why would he do that? Why would God have a favorite country? And why would it be America out of all the countries? Because we have the most money? Because he likes our national anthem? Maybe it's because he heard we have 18 delicious flavors of classic rice a -roni. It's delusional thinking. It's delusional thinking. And Americans are not alone with these sort of delusions. Military cemeteries around the world are packed with brainwashed, dead soldiers who were convinced God was on their side. America prays for God to destroy our enemies. Our enemies pray for God to destroy us. Somebody's gonna be disappointed. <laughs> Somebody's wasting their fucking time. Could it be everyone? <laughs> now, now. I was over in Australia and I was like, are you proud to be an American? I was like, oh, I don't know. I didn't have a lot to do with it, you know? I, my parents fucked there, that's about all. <laughs> You know, I was in the spirit realm at that time. So I went, fucking Paris, fucking Paris. But they couldn't hear me because I didn't have a mouth. I was a spirit without lungs or a mouth or vocal cords. They fucked here. Okay, I'm proud. I hate patriotism. I can't stand it, man. It makes me fucking sick. It's a round world last time I checked, okay? You know what I mean? I hate patriotism. In fact, that's how we can stop patriotism, I think. Instead of putting f stars and stripes on our flags, we should put pictures of our parents fucking. <laughs> Gather people around that flag and see your dad hunched over your mom's big four by four butt. <laughs> see if any boon rally mentality can circle around that little fucking image. God damn, I'm out of here. Fuck it. <laughs> Get your mom shut up. Nationalism does nothing but teach you how to hate people that you never met. And all of a sudden you take pride in accomplishments you had no part in whatsoever. And you brag about, you know, like the Americans you go, fuck the French. Fuck the French. If we hadn't saved their ass in two world wars, they'd be speaking German right now. You go, oh, was that us? That was us? Was, was that me and you, Tommy? We saved the French? <laughs> Jesus. I know I blacked out a little bit after that fourth shot of Jägermeister last night, but I don't, I don't remember. 
I know we went through the Wendy's drive-thru. We're gonna get one of them fresh set of sandwiches. It looks so alluring on the commercial, but then we ordered it and realized we had no money and we had to ditch out before the second window. And that was Douchebags in line behind us with the bass music probably got our order and out. We laughed about that, but I don't remember saving the French at all. I, I went through the last 10 calls on my cell phone and there's nothing incoming or outgoing to the French looking for muscle on a project. I checked my pants, there's no mud stains on the knees from where we were garroting krauts in the trenches at Verdun. I think we didn't do anything but watch sports bloopers while we got hammered. I think we should shut the fuck up. Yeah.